he's waiting for it. Yeah. For Kara and John, there's nothing like getting a good walk in great weather. I get exercise at the same time. And so what could be better than that? I think if you'd ask Amy and Casper, they wouldn't disagree. Yeah, they bring me so much joy and, and happiness and health. I'm 65 now. I've lost 40 pounds jogging with these dogs. But these German Shepherds aren't their pups. They're some of the many dogs currently residing at the Chula Vista Animal Services Shelter. Right now we average anywhere from 120 to 140 dogs on site and up to 20 or more in foster at the moment. So realistically, 80 is a good number for us to have. So sitting at almost double capacity is very difficult. Ashley Milo is the deputy director of the Chula Vista Shelter. She tells me there are so many dogs they've had to build overflow kennels. We now have 12 additional runs that have taken up our exercise yard so that we can make sure that we have housing for the ones coming in every day. With the overcapacity issues, volunteers in the shelter's dog walking program can make a difference for those just in and dogs that have been here a while. These dogs are going to be more adoptable if they're used to being around people and walking and that sort of thing. So we give them the opportunity to be dogs. It also gives the shelter a different kind of foot traffic. From there, it grew into visiting parks and beaches and everywhere else that a walker is comfortable taking them to with vests and handkerchiefs and everything saying, I'm available for adoption or I'm available for foster so that we can try and hopefully find someone who will come in and show interest and fall in love and get them out of here on a more permanent basis. Ryan Hill, ABC 10 News.